find anything for quite a while so I just got the first thing I could on Ubers and decided to post it. Now he's got a very odd team make. Uh, the real Lou could be a royal nuisance with the prankster roar copycat combo but I do have Rayquaza with extreme speed so it shouldn't be that big of a deal especially if I ruin Fortress quick. Anyway he's gonna go ahead and uh, lead the match off with his Mewtwo while I lead with my Scarf Kyogre. Now this could potentially be a bit of a problem if he's a Scarf Thunder set, uh, leave a huge dent, but I should be able to take it all right, fire off a Hydro Pump, and ruin the Mewtwo. That's kind of the plan. Anyway, he's got the pressure, of course, and so my Hydro Pump uh, amount is going to be reduced a little bit, but I'm just going to smash it with that Hydro Pump and finish off Mewtwo real quick. And so I'm looking pretty good at the beginning, nothing to worry. Uh, if you notice, Kyogre has more HP now and a new name. Um, that's because his EV spread got changed a little bit, so he's a little bulkier than he used to be, and he didn't lose much speed. So I'm going to fire off a Hydro Pump and miss. <sighs> and this is where the shenanigans get absolutely ridiculous, and you'll see why in just a moment. Uh, because I'm going to fire off another Hydro Pump, right? Right? Uh, missed again. Okay then, what the blazes? What is going on here? Uh... Two misses in a row. This is kind of ridiculous. It kind of shows me where my luck is going today. But uh, I'm going to fire off another Hydro Pump. Finally hit. But this means he's going to get all his layers of spikes up. So that's a pain. Um, anyway, I have no idea why that just happened. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I have no idea what just happened. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, get yet another layer of spikes up. Really annoying. And so I'm going to go ahead and watch as he uses his Kustop Berry to get all three layers of spikes up. Which, like I said, isn't such a big deal because this team really doesn't need to switch out a lot. Um, it's really just designed to smash, 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 and smash some more. So I'm going to fire off yet another Hydro Pump in the rain. Get a, a game-breaking crit right there. Absolutely game-breaking. So, yeah, I feel sorry for the guy getting that getting critted right there. Anyway, he's going to go into the real loop. I know he would. He's got three layers of spikes up and stealth rocks. Of course he's going to. But I'm going to smash with the Hydro Pump. Just get some damage off before he gets his roar off. Um, only way I can uh, start to bring this thing down. Unfortunately, I only do have one priority user here. So that's going to be annoying. But Nanako is going to roar. Nanako. Persona reference. <laughs> and go right into Rayquaza, which is ideal because now I could just go ahead and go with the banded extreme speed and ruin uh, the Riolu, which is great. Um, and I don't think he, think he thought that Rayquaza would have it, which is kind of dumb, but uh, not that he's dumb, it's just dumb not to think that Rayquaza wouldn't have a plus two extreme speed. Uh, so anyway, in comes Mamoswine. I don't want to deal with Mamoswine. I want Rayquaza for later. Help me weaken the uh, Genesect, smash it with a V crate, whatever. Anyway, gonna go back into Kyogre and just, just blast it with a Hydro Pump after taking an Ice Shard. That's kind of the plan here because uh, there's no way he wouldn't go for an Ice Shard. And that's definitely the optimum play to make. I mean, if he predicted me to switch, he could have done otherwise, but he does get a crit, so, ah, whatever. Anyway, he's gonna lose some HP and. I'm just going to fire off a Hydro Pump. I don't know why he didn't go for another Ice Shard right there. Or Switch. But, eh, more power to him. Unfortunately, this does mean that Kyogre, after wrecking havoc uh, across his entire team, is out of Hydro Pumps. Stupid Fortress dodging all over the place. Anyway, he's going to go to Darkrai. And I really have no reason to save him because with the entry hazards, I'm pretty much dead if I switch back in. So I'm just going to smack him with a struggle, get some residual going and find out if he's scarfed or not. Anyway, turns out he's not scarfed, so he's gonna go ahead and Dark Pulse me and take out Kyogre. And so I thought, well, he might be a Life Orb set. 
that's probably what he is if he's not scarfed. I mean, he potentially could be specs, but nope, he was scarfed. Anyway, gonna go back into Rayquaza figuring at this point, an extreme speed should be able to deal with it all right. I mean, it's banded at max attack, so it shouldn't be too difficult dealing with the dark right. So that's the plan. So there goes the extreme speed, and we'll see what happens. Will it take out the dark right? I mean, he's still at reasonable health, but it is a banded extreme speed. Nope, nope, nope. He survived it. Which, if I would have been running an adamant Rayquaza, probably would have taken it out without too much problem. But, I wanted to be able to outspeed other base 90s, even if they ran max speed. So, anyway, gonna go into Psycho Knight, not knowing I can outspeed anything he's got. He's such, such low HP, I can just Ice Beam. And, I actually changed my EV spread on this guy, too. He's pretty much Psycho Knight Mark II. So, rebuilt. A little better than before. Anyway, gonna go for the Ice Beam and take out the Dark Ride, no problem. So, we're looking really good here. I mean, he does have max hazards on the field, except for Toxic Spikes, so that's really annoying. And I don't have a Rapid Spinner, so they're there to stay. Anyway, in comes Genesect, and I figure, well, he's gonna be Scarfed. He's gonna take me out with an U turn or something, I don't know. But I'm just gonna Psy Strike in case he's not. It turns out I'm faster, so he's not Scarfed. Okay, I was not expecting to be faster than Genesect. Everyone runs Scarf Sect for good reason. Anyway, U-turn, obvious play. I mean, it's really the best thing to take out Mewtwo. And so that'll take out Mewtwo, no problem. And now at this point, I figure, well, I can go into Ferrothorn and get this Leech Seed off, which means get some residual going, and that'll help to bring Genesect down a lot easier. So, he's going to go for another U-turn, do some more chip damage. At this point, I'm guessing he's banded, because that's all he's using. I mean, if he was, like, a rock polish set, he'd have, like, rock polish and a flamethrower or something, and even in the rain, that would do good damage, because he got the special attack boost. But, didn't turn out that way, and so, now I got the Leech Seed going, and so, this match is looking like it's pretty much mine. I mean at this point everything's winding down. All I have to do is bring Kingdra in after getting a little bit of damage off. I mean at this point Kingdra could take him out but I didn't want to risk it and he decides uh, surprisingly not scarfed or banded goes for the explosion just to deal as much damage as he can and go out in the blaze of glory and does Genesect go out in the blaze of glory? Will he take out Ford? No! Not very effective. Didn't have the attack boost so Ford survives, and that match goes down, and I believe it was 3-0 at that point, but I couldn't find any more matches at the time, so just wanted to get something up, and I hope you enjoy.